it's me fairy kind girl welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a fun drawing challenge where i turn colors of the rainbow into people i'm really excited to do this because i've been working on these drawings for quite a while now and i just wanted to share them with you guys because i have done this challenge before and the drawings did not turn out well at all they looked really bad and that was about two years ago and i'll put that up on the screen if you want to see that but i just decided to retry this again because my art style has improved and i've improved a lot in just the way i draw and the way i color and the way i line my drawing before we start this video i also want to give a huge shout out to addy draws because she is such a great artist and i love her art so much she does mostly digitally and sometimes she might do traditional but yeah, I just want to give a shout out to her because she did draw my OC bunny and I love it so, so much. And I'll put her channel in the description box. But yeah, check out her channel if you like digital art or if you like her art style in general. So let's get into the video. So here, as you can see, I'm going to first start by coloring in red. And I'm just going to explain a little bit about red's personality and little bit about her aesthetic. I'm also going to include what zodiac signs I think each color should be. So yeah, let's get on to explaining a little bit about Red. So basically Red's name is Ruby and I didn't initially come up with this name for her design now because her old design did have the same exact name. And I actually put all the characters, like I gave them a name and I gave them personalities just because I came up with like this whole world where they live in. And I'm not going to go too much into detail about their backstories, but basically they're supposed to be superheroes and they are called the rainbows and they each have a power based off of their color. And I think Ruby's power was like where she was very strong and I know you might be thinking well why would she have the power of strength rather than fire and I'm not exactly sure because I came up with all of these powers with my sister because we like to come up with stories and stuff like that so we just I just like decided to give her the power of strength just because that's her characteristics it has a lot to do with her personality too so that's basically what her power is and each of the rainbows had their own power some of the powers that the other rainbows had weren't exactly the best because we couldn't really think of like a color having a power like pink had the power of like bubble gum i think which isn't that cool to be honest but yeah so in that world they actually meet and initially ruby and orange were supposed to just be friends like they just knew each other because ruby is rich in the initial story but i changed it up a bit and now they're just average kids and they're siblings now because i think red and orange are pretty tight when it comes to being like friends or siblings and that's why i made them into siblings and i'm gonna explain a little bit about orange after i'm done explaining about ruby but in terms of her personality like she is very headstrong and she's secretly caring but she can come off as rude as first because of her look and in terms of the way she dresses she dresses like a like a baddie and initially i was gonna give her like a scar or something but i decided not to and I just like her personality is just full of a lot of different emotions because I th I'm thinking that she had like a rough childhood but now she's okay because she's just one of those siblings that likes to keep to herself and she doesn't really like to interact with people who are very outgoing or too hyper because she's more laid back and just by herself and i want to talk about like as i said she has a she dresses like she's a baddie and a lot of people at school see her as more of a bully than a friend 
and she doesn't actually bully people she actually likes to help kids who are getting bullied so that's why i said at first she comes off as kind of mean or she comes off as the bully but she has a caring side to her and the zodiac sign that i gave her is actually cancer and i know like a lot of her personality doesn't exactly meet cancer's personality but she's supposed to initially be the leader of the group because when you think of a rainbow it starts with the color red and i just thought well shouldn't red be the leader of the group and i see red as more of a strong personality when i'm talking about the color itself and that's why i gave her uh the role like the zodiac sign of a cancer because cancers like to be the mother of the group they like to take care of everyone else which is very nice and that's what ruby likes to do now she is also a natural born leader so she does like to lead the group and some of the other rainbows don't agree with that so that's where a little bit of conflict comes in i'm going to talk about a little bit about her um outfit so basically i got these outfit ideas for the rainbows off of pinterest and in her original design ruby did have um some baggy pants and i decided to stick with that part and i had a lot of fun like shading in the black and i have drawn color characters with the color black as their clothing type and it didn't really turn out the best but in terms of her shading it came out pretty good and I still loved how the pants came out. As for her shirt, it's pretty plain. It's just like a red crop top, but it kind of makes her look kind of strong. And I did give her muscles, which I think was pretty cool because I don't usually draw girls with muscles. And that's pretty much all I have to say about Ruby in terms of her personality type, her zodiac sign and her power. So I just hope you guys enjoy the rest of the coloring process and then we'll get on to talking about orange. Okay guys, so now we're going to just be talking a little bit about Ginger's characteristics and I just want to say I called her Ginger for now just because that was the name for the original character and in the original design I did name her Ginger and I think it matches her a little bit because she does remind me a little bit of the cat from like tom talking tom i don't know if you're if you guys know ginger from talking tom but it's kind of she just reminds me of his personality a little bit and i also want to mention if you want to like see what their aesthetics are or uh just a little bit about them i didn't create a pinterest board called colors of the rainbow aesthetica so you can check that out and I separate different sections as to for each character. So Ginger's power in the story, I'm not exactly sure what it really was because I kind of forgot. 
I think it was either like she can become maybe bigger, but I'm not entirely sure because when we did come up with the story, we didn't actually write down what their powers were. And for Ginger, I did change up her original outfit and everything because in her original design, she had like a like a t-shirt. Well, not exactly a t-shirt. It was just like a sh sleeveless shirt and she had shorts. But in this new design, she has a t-shirt with a baseball cap and um, some cute overalls for like kid type overalls. And in terms of her personality, like, she is very quirky and she's basically like the sporty kid because she loves sports, she loves to do sports. Baseball is her favorite sport, but she also likes soccer and a lot of other things. She'll try anything new. She likes to eat because food is like one of her main things. Like, I feel like when you're into sports, you do like to eat food because, of course, you got to build up your stamina and just make sure your bones are healthy and she's pretty funny and as i said before she's kind of like the opposite of red just a little bit because she's more outgoing and more happy and excited most of the time but she acts like she's the boss of everyone she doesn't like being called small that's one of her weaknesses and it makes her really upset and i love the cute little pose i gave her she looks really cute and um I want to like change her name a little bit, but I'm not really sure what else I would name her. But for now, I'm just going to call her Ginger. If you have any name suggestions in the comments, or if you think I should just stick with her name, please comment that and that would be really helpful. In terms of her zodiac sign, she is a Leo and I don't really know much about the Leo zodiac sign because I have my own zodiac sign and I tend to not really pay attention to the others. Certain zodiac sign I drift more towards than others but I'm thinking she is a Leo not only because Leo has to do with lion and that's orange and her color is orange but just because I thought she would match a Leo's personality because she does like attention and I'm pretty sure Leos do like to have attention to them. So that's why I gave her that zodiac sign. And as I said, her aesthetic would be like the sporty girl and she's always like in the mood for sports or like up for a challenge. I'm just going to talk about her outfit now. I had a lot of fun actually um drawing her outfit and coloring it like i love orange as a color but i don't use it often i don't really know why but i just don't um her overalls i wasn't really sure what color to make it just because i wanted to make sure that she had some orange incorporated into her outfit but i just made the whole overalls orange and then for her t-shirt i went for like a very light gray initially it started off pretty really light because i wanted to keep her shirt almost white but then i added a little bit of a darker gray to give it more shading so now it's just like a gray t-shirt and for her like hair i kind of messed up a little bit on her hair because i gave her like really big um ponytails they were supposed to be extremely small at first but when I did the line art, I forgot and they just came out like that. So I decided to stick with that because I didn't want to redraw the whole character again. And I already lo loved how she looked. Um, I did give her like some rainbow socks. And I love that fact because she likes to explore a lot of different colors. And it does represent a lot of like the rainbows and a lot of their story and stuff like that. So I gave her rainbow socks and... I gave her also some a rainbow ball cap, like I made the cap rainbow, which was pretty cool too. And when I was coloring the socks, I actually added way too much pink, but I can't really go back and change that, so that's okay. That's really all I have to say about Ginger. As I said, I had a lot of fun making her because I love to make quirky characters. I love to make characters that are more on the fun side, and that's why I enjoyed making her, so... Yeah.
So we have reached towards the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and like the video so that you can support me. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.